We begin in the Middle East where Israel is bolstering its air defense capabilities. The country's defense minister announced that its new high power laser beam system known as the Iron Beam has successfully completed testing and will be deployed for operational use by the end of this year. The Iron Beam was co-developed by two leading Israeli defense firms. It's designed to work alongside Israel's well-known Iron Dome which has been used to intercept rockets fired by Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Yemen-based Houthis. Achieving operational laser interception capability places the state of Israel at the forefront of global military technology and makes Israel the first nation to possess this capability. Our enemies from Gaza, Iran, Lebanon, Yemen, and other arenas should know. Just as we are strong in defense, we are strong in offense and we will do everything to protect the security of Israeli citizens. Now, while these existing systems have intercepted thousands of rockets, they're expensive to operate. Each traditional interceptor missile costs around $50,000, with some running into the millions. By contrast, the Iron Beam uses directed laser energy to neutralize incoming threats for just a few dollars per shot. And unlike conventional missile interceptors, the Iron Beam doesn't launch another projectile. In fact, it fires a laser beam that heats up the target until its engine or warhead collapses. Now, this allows for near instant neutralization with what officials describe as no time lag. Raphael is the first and only company worldwide to successfully transform high power laser technology into a fully mature operational interception system capable of intercepting missiles and UAVs. Today's complex trial results prove that the talented team behind the Iron Dome is again revolutionizing warfare with what we call the Laser Dome. The system was tested for several weeks in southern Israel and demonstrated the ability to intercept rockets, mortars, drones, and even low-flying aircraft. Built with advanced adaptive optics technology, it also ensures precise targeting over long distances. It's also worth noting the new iron beam is also scalable. Its other variants are being developed, including a mobile truck-mounted model known as Iron Beam M, a compact light beam for armored personnel carriers, and a maritime version for naval protection. Now, this flexibility will allow the system to defend cities, bases, and critical assets, both on land and at sea. The high-power laser system will integrate within Israel's multi-layered defense array further enhancing multi-layered integration with additional missile interceptors through optimal cost-effectiveness and leveraging relative advantages against threat types, ranges, and environmental conditions. Now, experts do caution that the Iron Beam is not without its limitations. In fact, it struggles in poor visibility conditions such as heavy cloud cover, fog, or rain. But despite this, its near limitless ammunition so long as power is available, offers a huge advantage compared to missile stockpiles, which can be quickly depleted in large-scale conflicts. The half-a-billion-dollar project has been nearly a decade in development, and its success marks a significant leap for Israel's defense capabilities. So as the deployment begins by the end of this year, military planners worldwide will be watching very closely. First post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English, French, Le FMI, German, Hindi, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish. Go to settings, click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. First post.